I'm Dave Lounsbury, I'm the Chief Technical Officer here at the Open Group. I'm responsible for forum operations and also our, our technical infrastructure. Well, you know, he highlighted the need for transformation and it's something we see in a lot of transformation projects where they're being called on to do more, meet the digital expectations of the, of the population uh, while still accomplishing significant savings. And they started with some consolidation projects where uh, the one I, I remember well here is that uh, they were consolidating multiple telecom providers and they got you know 125 million euro savings. They've reduced the number of data centers that they have and that they've now taken some of that and by consolidation of the telecom it enables them to standardize their security platform and thereby increase the security of, the, uh, of their uh, national infrastructure. Yeah, he, they, they are using EA as part of their transformation. They, they looked at uh, other models. They were principally looking at models more, um, the, you know, the methods more from the business approach than sort of a, a technical approach. So they looked at things like the value of outsourcing and, and things like that and uh, externalizing their, their spend, I think it's a word for outsourcing. I thought he gave actually a very good answer on that because he struck the balance between um, transformation again and savings. And you know he pointed out that uh, one of their big initiatives is how to meet the digital expectations of the young people in Spain who you know are, have a lot of unemployment and they want to make all government available. I think by 2020, make it available through a, a digital third platform. And the way they're trying to do that is through. Um, not so much through uh, cuts of staff, but through savings in infrastructure through consolidation and then moving the staff around to higher value areas. Yeah, that was an area where I, I, I have to say I think there's more progress to be made. Um, he said each unit had its own ERP for governance, enterprise resource planning system for, gov for governance, and that they were still working on how to consolidate all those and have a, a government-wide measure for uh, progress. It was a good presentation. I, I particularly appreciated that he recognized the work of the Open Group's uh, Open Platform 3.0 work in setting out the kind of third platform that they referred to by a number of names. They talked about CAMS, they talked about SMAC. But what they said is these third platforms are creating, I think his words were, a perfect storm for disruption of IT delivery. And the interesting thing I took out of that was that a lot of it is looking at how these third platforms lower the barrier to people coming into the market and, and providing more competition. You know, it's the, one of the five forces is you know, mark, barriers to market entry, and this was going to reduce that. I think this number was over 40% of the people they interviewed view, feared um, a market entry by new competitors. Yeah, it's, it's, it's absolutely true. You know, there's new technology emerges in the third platform space literally once a week, right? Some new service comes out or some new tool comes out. And without the EA discipline that ties that out to your business and transformational needs, you're just going to wander around you know, looking at the next pretty rock. Yeah, it was a good session. Um, 
uh, and these were, um, the, by and large, the panelists were younger architects, and they were talking about something I thought it was very interesting and gave you a lot of hope for the um, IT profession because a lot of these were people who had come from a technical background, either I think two were from the software development. One was actually from the you know, infrastructure side of the house, you know, how we put together the servers and the wiring and things like that. And the common thread among all of them was they wanted to get a bigger view of what they were doing. They wanted to see what the business view was. And of course, that led them to discover EA and uh, try to figure out what it takes for them to learn about how to become EAs. And, and that was the, the core of the discussion from then on. That is good, and one of the theme, themes that recurred throughout that was that it's really hard. There are a lot of barriers for a young person who's coming from a, a purely technical or purely operational background. You know how they how they learn about the business, and it, it it they all highlighted the need for mentoring for someone to actually introduce them to the other aspects of the business they're unfamiliar with. One of the things that these folks did highlight the fact, and then this came out from the audience as well, that part of the skills of an IT architect, and I think somebody actually said there were kind of three pillars, and one of which was um, knowledge of your subject area, one of which was experience in communicating and interacting with people, and the third was, of course, the core of the IT skills. And so, you know, the, the issue about how you interact with business people uh, comes with age. And as someone with a technical background, I, I, I expect to get it right one of these days myself, but it is one of those areas where that comes with a little more experience. And, they're, and they also highlight the fact that they're not going to get that at universities, right? That has to come from direct exposure through, to the business. Said no. Right. Yeah, nobody nobody used EA tools in their job. Somebody said, "Well, we used one, and uh, uh, they, um, but they had given it up." Um, you know, we still hear that the you know most common EA tools are probably pen and paper. I'll actually attest to that when you start out. Uh, but you know, when you're going to communicate these things to people, you know, you use the communication tools at hand. You know, presentations, um, talking to people, things like that. I think they have a great opportunity. The tools vendors have a great opportunity. I think the you know part of the opportunity is how you make it easy. Um, one of the things that we really like about using Archimate here at the Open Group is that it's something that can be easily started. Uh, you have to put a little discipline into getting your models right, but then you can use it to communicate to the technical staff. You can use it to communicate to uh, your boss, the executives. Um, in fact, I used uh, Archimate diagrams uh, today in my presentation to our security track. And uh, in fact, we had three presentations using Archimate, so we can communicate across that whole range. So what that tells me is that tools can be used to communicate if you don't get all wound up in the aspects of the tools and get overly uh, fancy about your architecture, methodology, and terminology.